Good morning, David. Good morning, Salim. David, some projects can be simple, some projects can be very complex. Mm. So how do we manage risk on those complex projects? Risk in complex projects um, is thought to be difficult because the complexity of the project itself uh, must involve a more complex risk process. Um, I don't ne think that's necessarily true. I think the process itself is founded on the same basic structure in a complex project as it is in any other project, but there are different uh, types of risk that uh, complex projects are exposed to. So with a simple project, you can break it into its elements and you can risk assess each of the elements, identify the risks and then plan responses and, and so on. The idea of complexity, um, complexity is, um, there are a number of definitions of complexity. Mm -hmm. The simplest definition, uh, going back to the original Latin word, which it's derived from, the word complexity, it means knotted, tied in a knot. Mm -hmm. It's like a plate of noodles um, and, and it's all tangled up together and you can't pull out the separate parts. With a simple project, you can say, there's this element, this element, this element, they're separate, we can look at them individually. Yes. With a complex project, it's all tangled up together, everything relates on to everything else, there are interactions and interfaces Interlinked. which are hidden inside the complex project. And so it's like your plate of noodles or spaghetti, you pull out one strand and you can see it on its own, but you now have it not related to anything and you can't put it back. Mm. You can't take one noodle and put it back into the middle of the plate yes. because it was, it, you know, that's how it exists. Um, in a complex project, there are interactions which are hidden and you can't see how the different elements relate together. So things happen much more uh, unexpectedly on complex projects. Um, risks emerge in complex projects that were hidden before and are very hard to spot because of the complexity of yes. the project system itself. So we need an approach to risk management which is not so much predictive as reactive. Mm -hmm. Now, the whole idea of risk management is we're supposed to do things in advance to stop bad things happening and to make good things happen. But for these kind of risks that, that we can't see in advance, we call them emergent risks, yes. risks that appear apparently from nowhere. Mm. They were always there in our tangle of noodles, yes. but we couldn't see them until, until they emerged. Yes. We need a slightly different approach to risk management, and that is one which is more based on responding to what's in front of us than what's coming. And there are two methods that we need to build into our risk management process, which are additional to the standard approaches for less complex projects. And they are flexibility and resilience. Mm -hmm. Flexibility says you can bend or you can move things without breaking them. And resilience says, if I get squashed, I will bounce back again yes. to, the, to, the same, to the same position. So we can have flexibility and resilience in our processes. So processes can be more fl flexible, more responsive to what's there. You don't have to get 10 signatures before you can do something. Um, you, um, you, you can change the process depending on the, the, the requirements of, of the project in front so of you. So complexity needs Flexibility. flexibility. Mm -hmm. The second thing then is resilience. You can have resilience not just in your processes but in your people. So people are empowered to do what they need to do in a complex project. If something changes they don't have to go and ask approval. If it's within their area of responsibility they can change their approach and deal with what's there. You can have flexibility and resilience not just in your processes and in your people, mm -hmm. uh, but in, the, in your strategy, in your overall strategy for the project. So the idea is saying, what's there in front of us now? Let's adapt our approach uh, to managing the risk that's emerged in front of us. And flexibility and resilience um, can be built into the structure of the project and the structure of the, of the project approach in a complex project in a way that's not really needed in a simple project. So uh, resilience, uh, uh, how fast that can be done, going to back to normal situation? Well, truly resilient organisations will, will recover very quickly. And so we see this in some organisations which are hit by crisis. Maybe there's a financial crisis, 
Maybe there's an environmental crisis, a flood or a fire. Maybe there's a political crisis, some change in the, in the organization, in the, in the country or in the culture or the society. Um, and some organizations will, will respond very quickly and soon be fully operational again, and others will take a long time to recover. The same is true of, of projects or of project teams. And it's, it's something which can be developed, something which can be learned how to become more resilient in our people, in our processes and in our projects. Um, and it, it does certainly come with experience. So if you're working in a complex project environment, it's something that you'll be exposed to fairly constantly. Uh, and so you develop that experience of how to become flexible and resilient quite quickly. And then the next time you're faced with one of these situations, you recover more quickly. So if I have understood what you are saying, is that in uh, the complex projects, there is no way of breaking down into simple uh, sub-projects, if I can call it sub-projects, because there are some interaction between the exactly. ingredient of the complex project. That's so right. we need to do the, the two things you have said, flexibility and Resilience. That's right. With complex projects, um, it, you can't easily pull the parts mm. a, a separately because you lose important interactions which are inherent, which are yes. part of the complexity of the project. And if you find that you can't describe the project easily on one piece of paper, or you can't hold in your head all of the different elements of the project, it's probably too complex to have a standard risk management approach because you know, if, if I can't explain it to you in one page of words or in, in one simple paragraph, um, then it's too complex to understand and that means things will emerge that come out of my, my that are beyond my understanding, which I need to have this different flexible and uh, resilient approach to. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, David. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.